Hi everyone, my name is Dr. C. Elizabeth Rami, Dean School of Sciences in this one called Arts and Science. Our college has taken several initiatives to conduct many programs, trainings on the topic disaster management and risk reduction. Now, we have given a proposal for more course entitled Flood Risk Mitigation for Coastal Communities. That this course is a need of the hour because the climate changes are having a significant impact on coastal flooding in India, which includes rising sea levels. Sea levels are rising, which can cause flooding in low lying areas, including coastal cities. This can lead to loss of life and property damage. Rising sea levels increase the risk of natural disasters, which can lead to loss of life and extensive property damage. Economic setbacks are also another important problem which is caused by this condition. Rising sea levels can stop economic activities like tourism, fishing and shipping which can lead to job losses and financial instability. Environmental degradation is another issue caused by this uh, disaster uh, things happening due to flooding issues. So that includes rising sea levels uh, which is uh, degrading the quality of drinking water sources and supply systems and regional intrusion of salt water inland. Displacement, uh, that is also another problem and the sea level increase can lead to displacement of people from their homes and farmland. And then increased precipitation, climate change is causing an increase in precipitation which can lead to flooding. Vulnerable communities. Coastal communities are particularly vulnerable to the impacts of climate change, especially those that are poor and live in low lying areas. Compound events. Climate change is causing more compound events such as rising sea levels, coming with heavy rainfall events. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, warns that internal sea overly waves heat. Uh, heavy rainfall events and rising sea levels. The IPCC also states that it maintains a swamp, the atmosphere, ocean, and land. These are the reasons why we have proposed this new course. Hence, I hope everybody who are well is going to enjoy in this particular course is going to be benefited and they are going to be a very useful tool to correct the future issues related to this. Come up with a proposal of massive open online course on flood risk reduction and mitigation for coastal communities. And the course description is this is mainly focusing on flood risk reduction and mitigation strategies for coastal communities, emphasizing practical solutions and community-based approaches. The course objectives are to understand flood risk dynamics in coastal areas to identify effective flood mitigation and adaptation measures, to develop community-based flood risk reduction strategies, apply flood resilience planning principles. On the week one, the course module includes introduction to flood risk in coastal communities, coastal flood risk dynamics, impact of climate change on coastal flooding, vulnerability assessment, and risk mapping. And the week 2 module is about flood mitigation measures that comprises of structural measures, non structural measures, nature based solutions that includes wetlands and mangroves. And the week 3 module is about community based flood risk reduction, wherein we offer community engagement and participation measures, flood risk communication and awareness community-led flood mitigation initiatives. The big four module is about flood resilience planning, which includes flood resilience planning frameworks, infrastructure design for flood resilience, economic and social resilience strategies. And the big five module is about case studies and best practices, which includes successful flood mitigation projects, community-based flood risk reduction initiatives, Lesson, lessons learned from flood events. And the week six module is about policy and governance, which includes national and international flood policy framework, governance structures for flood risk management, 
institutional capacity building. And the seventh seven is about technology and innovation, which includes flood forecasting and early warning systems, remote sensing and GIS applications, innovative flood mitigation technologies. The big eight is about conclusion in future, future directions and when we will be uh, having recap and recap of key concepts. Emerging trends and challenges, future directions of better reduction. And we are planned to have uh, different types of assessments and activities includes business, discussion forums, group projects, and final assembly. Thank you.